Today is really a day I'm excited for and uh, currently I'm in Kurumba and uh, I want to get a ferry um, upstream the Rio Pantanal to Porto Chofre. Here we are, that's it. Bom dia! Bota mais perto, a gente levanta ela. Pega aqui, mano. Olha Okay. Yeah. Oh. No, stop. Okay. Oh, okay, pass Bueno. Eh. Well, here again, doesn't move. So, yeah, I'm getting a little bit situated on the on the on the boat. You sleep among all the other crews and, and passengers. Get my hammock with my sleeping, uh, with my mosquito net. <laughs> Just put my stuff in here. And uh, yeah, there over there you can see my my motorbike. How it's parked and, and probably squared away. Some more people getting situated here on the hammock. And uh, that's my home for the next three days. So, that feels, feels good. You know, especially, um, well, for me, it's the, um, it would be cool if I can uh, talk some Portuguese and talk with the people on the boat. Otherwise, it's communication is very limited. But, uh, and just, it's my home for the next three days. <laughs> so, yeah, cool. about uh, six in the morning at the stern of the ship <clears throat> with the right above the engine it was it was like sleeping on a, on an airplane and with the humming and the, and the vibration it was but it was good uh, it was actually the first time I was sleeping in the, in the, in a hammock that I did bring um, with me here to uh, to South America it was good I like it what I do want to mention, why I'm even um, doing this right from Kurumba to Porto Schoffer is um, for three days actually, it is actually uh, not a shortcut, but, uh, but the other option would be over 1260 kilometers uh, around, so on, on landway, and it's just something different now I can, I can try out being on a river here. And, um, and now it's, it's it's a pretty nice option for me to do something different. Uh, take uh, take a ride on the ferry here, get off Porto Shoff, uh, and then uh, ride the road up further north. 
So in the end, I want to go to Santeren, it's quite a stretch. And uh, then from there, take another ferry to Belém and um, up on the other side of the, of the Amazon River for, uh, to get to French Guiana, Suriname, Guiana, and then come, come back down to Manaus. Well, just looking at the map already shows you how, how wide and big the continent is, especially Brazil itself. And um, just a lot of writing <laughs> you have to do. But uh, that's good, that's, that's what I'm here for, to experience the country and to, uh, to ride motorbike. And uh, yeah, so that's the idea for, the, for now. Having my sugared um, coffee here. But uh, it was surprisingly cold at night. Gentleman doing the fishing. I've met them uh, two days ago on the on the boat from Corumba, and uh, they handed me a Spaten beer, German beer brand. So, <laughs> what is the uh, beer from Saudi? Saudi. Saudi. Great. Don't put a bottle on it. <laughs> hey! 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 getting off the ramp but it was uh, it was pretty cool it was a nice journey the, the sun is setting so I want to go to the campsite before it's getting dark and pitch up my tent <laughs> so this is Francisco I just met him yesterday here at the camping uh, ground Yeah, 
because I'm blank from missing. <laughs> going on so just step by step she just told me oh just park it right here in front but how I lift it up or get it over I don't know yet <laughs> I just chill and wait here